Hey, hey guys, let's look at trichotomy today. Hey, it's is awesome. If you perform a trichotomy on someone, you can like keep, the person can't, wait, no, never mind, that's something different. Anyway, I don't want to ask mom about that. Okay, anyway, trichotomy, tri means what? Three, right? So let's, symbols, we already know the symbols for greater than, right? Less than, and then equal, we know that, right? So there can be, you know, combinations of these things too. We can say that something is greater than or uh, equal to something. We can also say, oh, something is less than or equal to something, right? In other words, this is a trichotomy axiom. If you got two numbers, A and B, there's only three possibilities, right? What are the three possibilities? You tell me. A has to be equal to B, right? Or A can be greater than B, or A can be less than B, and that's it. There ain't, there's no other truths, okay? Just like there are two genders, there are three possibilities, okay? Not 73 possibilities, okay? Anyway, all right. So this little, you know, means not. So if you see something like this, let's go do a couple of these. If we go four is not less than one, which it isn't, right? Four is not less than one. Well, it's not less than one. We might do it like this, okay? How about this one? Four is not equal to two plus six. Four is equal to two plus six? Mm, no, it's not. E, it ain't equal to two plus six, all right? Four, seven is not greater than or equal to 10. It isn't, is it? So it's not. Now, if you've knocked out the po two possibilities, there's only one possibility left, right? So in other words, how are we gonna write this? Four is not less than one? If it's not less than one, what are the two other possibilities? It's greater than one, right? Now we'll, we'll talk more about that a little bit, a little bit later. But if four is not equal to two plus six, the only possibility is it could be greater than or less than. Seven is not greater than or equal to ten. Well, if it's not greater than or equal to, we've just knocked out two of the three possibilities. So it's going to have to be the third possibility, right? Seven is less than ten. Okay, so let's do these. We're going to graph these on number lines. And again, don't forget, make these really fast, easy ones on your Saxon lesson, right? You finish in 30 seconds. Boom, out of there, okay? So your number line should not be this long number line like, um, hold on, like that. Don't ever do that. Just only use the number that they're asking for on the problem, okay? Just write a real quick number line and knock out the number and then go to the next one, okay? So we'll go, they'll say, X, graph this on a number line. X is not less than 2. So let's rewrite that. Okay, let's do our x and do our two. Well, if it's not less than, then that must be, it, it applies to, to two other choices, right? So it can be greater than and it can be equal to two, right? So on your number line, I'd go like this. You, number line uh, two, boom. X is greater than two and it's equal to two. Ah, remember what you do on those, you put a, a filled in line and you go, you, and there you go, there's your answer. If it isn't one of the three, then it's the other two. If it isn't two of the three, then it must be the third, right? That's what you're gonna graph. Okay, let's do another one. <clears throat> X is not greater than or equal to negative one, which means we're gonna first rewrite that, which uh, that means it's gonna be X is less than negative one. Now, your number line is, is gonna look like this. Don't make it like this, it's too complicated. Just go like this, ye, you, and then negative one. You don't have to make this, oh wait, does that match perfectly? Oh, that should be a zero. I'll put another one. I'll get a ruler and a, no, just make it as fast as you can. X is less than negative one, means you don't include negative one. Doesn't include negative one. So you just go like that. That's what your drawing's gonna look like. Okay, another one. Graph X is not, not less than negative two. So let's rewrite it. If it's not less than negative two, that means it's greater than two, and it could even be equal. To two. So it's both of those. Okay? Don't write this. Just write this. Go yoop, yoop, and then what? Negative two, and then go, okay, it's greater than or equal to. If it's equal to, I fill in the, you know, the little thing, and then, there we go. That's all you did. That's all there is to it. Okay. Look on page 281, and let's do those three. Okay. Well, x is not less than or equal to negative one. Well, if it's not less than or equal to, that means it's greater than negative one, right? So X is greater than ne negative one. Looks like this, open circle. There we go. All right, pause and try the next one. All right, X is not greater than two. There's my X, there's my two. It's not greater than two, which means it's 
less than two, or it could be equal to two. So there's my two. It's filled in because it could be equal to two. It doesn't say it's not greater than or equal to. It just says not greater than. So you, there we go. It's less than. What a beautiful line. Okay, pause and try the third one. Okay, there's, it's not greater than or equal to 2, which means it is just simply less than 2. All right, doesn't include 2. So you open circle, and there you go. Okay, all right, that's all there is on those. Have fun with those. Make them those short ones. Do quick uh, drawings, and then get them out of the way and go to the next problem. Okay, see you all next time.